All right, so I'm about to uh, do my SSH connection to the Raspberry Pi right now so I can turn on this fluorescent lamp that I've got wired up to it. So first I need to log in. So I load my settings in PuTTY. Got my IP address, my port number, using SSH uh, connection. Down here I have my security key, 2048 bits encrypted. So now I'm going to open the session. And it's logging in, username root authenticating with public key, Victor Ramos 2084. So now I am logged in to the Raspberry Pi under a secure connection. So nobody can see the data that's being transferred over the network. So I'm going to use a wireless connection from here to my home wireless router. Which the wireless router is forwarded to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi so whenever I do a command from here to the Raspberry Pi. It's going to go through the router, be forwarded to the Raspberry Pi, and then to the GPIO general purpose input output pins to turn on a solid state relay, which will then turn on the fluorescent light. And it's all wireless. As you can see, all I have is a laptop. There's no wires connected to it. This is all going over the internet. So, I type in the name of my program and hit enter. And voila, it comes on. Now, I have to turn it off manually because I haven't created a program. So you can see what's going on in the background, what this light program that I just ran is actually doing. It's just echoing a value, echoing a value of zero to turn the uh, LED off, the logic zero. And it does that by using a class that's uh, been created for the GPIO pin. So now when I echo that, nothing happens because I guess I typed it in wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, I didn't type which, uh, which pin number. It's GPIO 23. So now when I hit enter, it should turn off. And voila. So now we have successfully turned the fluorescent light on and off using a wireless internet SSH connection and the Raspberry Pi and just a simple solid state relay. So let's do it one more time. Turn the light on. It comes on. Turn it off. So now that I've done this, I can uh, wire it up to, for instance, uh, my living room light, my porch light. Uh, pretty much any circuit that's a 25 amp solid state relay so I can run a whole room off of that if I wanted to turn it on and off at this all on or off at the same time so that's what I'm gonna do with it I'm gonna hook it up to some other cool stuff and actually uh, make it do something alright